Hi everybody, welcome back to At Your Leisure. It's time for us to mess around in the kitchen a little bit. My family growing up, our signature recipe was Salisbury steak. An old Mr. Brooklyn used to have a catering business and he would make the best Salisbury steak in the world. So we are going to uh, do Salisbury steak, Mr. Brooklyn style. With our Yardley's premium beef. Right. Because so, it is the best. And so this is a rump roast and a uh, cube steak can be made off of a cross-section slice of a rump roast, but it's a, it's, it's a thing that needs a lot of cooking if you want it to be tender. So the purposes of Salisbury steak, we use a tenderizer. I want to show you how this thing works. Okay, so now we got the, we got the Yardley beef out of the way. We okay. want to take the dry ingredients, the salt, the pepper, and the flour, and we want to mix it together. Okay, we're going to drag that baby through there, right? That's right. Okay. Okay, so while she's doing that, I'm going to put two tablespoons of oil into this pan right here. Now you can use a, a full Dutch oven or you can use a Dutch oven skillet and uh, whatever it is you want to be able to take it in this device and put it in the oven so that's why you want to use something that holds heat. Okay so, once you, get, with oil so once you get a shimmer on the oil you want to take about half of your butter Okay. and just put it in there. Okay so now we're going to put the meat in here. Okay beautiful. On, on, beautiful on meat. a medium high setting and we're just going to brown it on both sides. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, so That's we're, gonna a set, beautiful. we're gonna set this out beautiful. here and we're gonna okay. set that aside for a minute. And now we start adding this fun stuff, okay? Okay. So we're going to, uh, we're gonna throw the onions and the uh, garlic and the mushrooms in. Okay, so now we're just gonna kind of let these caramelize mm. and cook down in oh this. Oh my gosh, that looks and the so oil good. And the, and the oil and the butter and Yummy. all the meat flavoring in there. And now it's time to add the wine. Okay. Yep. Now we've got that in. Time to add the beef stock. Okay. Now we're going to mix in the Dijon mustard. Oh, yummy. Okay. And add the Worcestershire. 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 Wow. Oh, I'm channeling Smells. old Mr. Brickland right now. Okay, let's put the let's put the steaks in. Okay. I'll just kind of slide it in there. Slide it right in there. Woo -hoo. Now we're going to cover it. And we put it in the oven. Put it in the oven. And we leave it for 25 minutes. So we're going to serve this with a side of mashed potatoes. You'll be bored watching us make mashed potatoes, so <laughs> we're just going to make them and, and we'll just let the magic wipe of time go by. How did <gasps> we do? It looks so Salisbury-ish. <laughs> That's a beautiful piece of work right there. Look at that. Mmm. That's got the flavor right. Tender, wonderful. Great well, recipe, honey. Good job. Delicious. Thank you, Mr. S Mr. Berklin. <laughs> anyway, if you'd like this recipe, it's easy to do. Just go to the At, at Your Leisure website. Or you can go directly to butter-steaks.com. That's it for the cooking tip this time. We'll see you next time, and uh, eat hearty. Yum.